Yeah, the first record I ever bought. Hold on, let me see. The first record I bought. I don't know about the first record I ever bought. The first album I ever bought. The first record I ever bought. This has to be uh, the first record I ever bought with my own money. And uh, obviously it's Run DMC's Raising Hell. Huge influential album for me. And I guarantee most cats from my generation. But uh, yeah, man, I remember when this came out, I saw an ad for it in uh, the Arizona Republic. They were selling it at uh, Tower. So I gave my mom some money and uh, asked her to go down and pick it up for me. So she went down and drove down there because she was working down that way and she went and picked it up for me and brought this home for me. So this is the first album I ever bought with my own money. Run DMC's Raising Hell, classic. Uh, here we go, here we go. Yeah. First record I ever bought was UTFO. I bought this when I was like 16 years old, back in Milwaukee. Um, I bought this from a record store called Renner Record. And it was actually a record store where you can go in there and actually rent records. A lot of DJs back in the days used to go in there and uh, they would be doing a party that weekend. So they go in there and they, they buy five or six records or rent them rather. You could like buy them for like $7 a piece. And then when you brought them back a few days later, they would give you like five bucks back. So you basically got to use the record for the whole weekend. Um, for two dollars so I didn't rent this but you could rent or you could buy but yeah that's where I got it from rent a record that was back in like 1986 first record I ever bought UTFO second record I ever bought was Crush Groove probably have to be like some weird punk rock record this is some stuff from when I was young old Phoenix compilation from Placebo Records, and this was just a lot of different noise, punk rock bands, different sort of outsider music, probably from the 80s, late, middle 80s, early. Yeah, I think it was like licensed to ill or something like that, and I bought it, not like when it came out or anything, but I think I bought it when I was maybe like 17 or something like that. That's when I first got a record player and started you know, dabbling into records, and then maybe like, you know, after, when I was maybe about 18, 19, I started buying more LPs and things like that. But yeah, the first thing was uh, Licensed to Ill. I think I might have got it from like, could have been like Rushmore Records or something like that. Wow. Two, three, great by the B-Boys. Um, all the early cameos. Arcade Funk by Tilt. Um, I'm just thinking of the ones we used to scratch to death every day after school. Uh, the Headhunter. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. The first record I bought was the Buddy Holly story. No, that was the first album I bought. I don't remember the first single, but it might have been Fats Domino because I was really, uh, I was really into Fats Domino in my uh, early days. And, and where I went to grade school, uh, they they had a uh, uh, they had a dance class I think every Thursday. So uh, they needed you know music. So I started playing music for that, and then. Uh, one year, I remember it, they had uh, uh, a small, very small lunchroom, and so they had two seatings, you know, like 12 to 12.30 was the first group, 12.31. So I could play records